I am a chronic masturbate, procrastinator. My bad, I have a list. Procrastination has forever been a problem for me. For as long as I can remember, I always avoided work. Like in my kindergarten, they literally only assigned homework on Tuesdays, and I still didn't do it. Why learn how many apples Johnny has when I could be watching Looney Tunes or Annoying Orange like I had priorities as a kindergartner, and that was to be lazy. And my procrastination only got worse when I became older, mainly because I had more on the line. I was in sports teams now, but I was in like six string because I barely went to practice. Most days I would just skip practice just to go home and do nothing. I just didn't want to do any kind of work. I mean, I might have also been kind of trash, but I know for a fact if I actually practice, if I put in 100% effort, I would have been first string. Water boy, but at least I can say I tried. And it was all because of my master procrastination. In high school, I still heavily procrastinated, but it went into my favor, cause now I had study halls. I didn't have to do work at home no more. Every day, I would do my work in study hall and go home and procrastinate, playing with my meat or diddly daddling with my soldier boy console. And now here I am today, still procrastinating more than ever. And it had me thinking, why do I procrastinate? Why do we procrastinate? Is it because we're lazy ass niggas? Yes, that's the reason. We all do this because we don't want to work, or at least take a break from work. At the start, you're like, oh, I'll play one game just to ease my mind a bit. Then one game turns into two, two turns into five, then oh, now you weigh 800 pounds. And you intentionally do this too. You remember you got work to do, but we cast that aside for short time pleasure. Now you gotta pull an all-nighter just to half-ass your work so you can hand it in in time. And I've done this way too many times. I'd be slobbering over the desk in my room just to get my work done in time before school started. I wasted no time, except I also wasted all my time. I put the pro in procrastinating, and I'm not proud of that. I've been doing this literally my whole life. The amount of days where I absolutely accomplish little to nothing is so many. Even a homeless person can look at me and say, you're a lazy bum, and I can't argue back. These dudes are on the street begging for money on that grind while I'm on my phone scrolling all day. They are better than me, and that leads me into another thing. Social media has increased my procrastination from like 80% to this is a part of my life now. Social media is the most addictive thing since crack. At least it's free. For me, as soon as my mom got me an iPad as a kid, it was already too late. I was glued to that thing watching YouTube and Instagram for years until it broke after I dropped it face first about a thousand times. But then I just moved on to a phone which completely ended my productivity. If I wasn't a bum then, then I'm definitely a bum now. I became and still am a bot to social media. So is everyone else around me. We are all addicted to social media. We are looking at a screen for most of the time in our days. Google says we spend two and a half hours on social media every day on average. I say that's cap, because TikTok exists. And using TikTok will get you hooked on that for hours, man. I had to delete it, because I would be on there for more than an hour without even noticing. And it was even worse that most of the TikToks on my FYP was so GARBAGE! Like, they were so trash! I only stayed on the app because there would be like one out of seven TikToks that would actually be decent. Yet, I would still be on there for hours. I had to let it go. I had to put me first. But then, I just catch myself moving on to the next app, being on there for hours on end. My procrastination is on another level. And I'm not gonna be one of those guys that completely blame social media for my laziness. Like, ugh, I keep scrolling through Instagram for hours not doing any of my work. Man, this is all Mark Zuckerberg's fault. He owns it. That means it's his fault. That's why I keep on scrolling and wasting my time. Nah, man, that's what it's designed for. It's designed to make you stay on there for as long as possible. It's my fault for wasting my time. And I'm still working on that to this day. I don't know how bad procrastination affects y'all, but I want to get out of this habit. Procrastination is just sucking me dry, man. Maybe I should try one of those videos I see on YouTube where folk get away from social media for months and their lives completely change. Man, I quit MySpace last week and my life completely changed for the better. During that time, I got bitches. Uh, my doctor gave me some free Tootsie Rolls. Did I mention bitches? And maybe they're right. Good probably only happens when quitting social media, but I'm more just trying to get rid of my procrastination. I'm not looking to quit any apps. 
maybe Twitter, but that's for different reasons. But I'm just trying to become more productive, a better person, and finally stop laying on my lazy ass and get back to working on my peak content. I'm no longer finna be scrolling on apps no more, cause I'm in my element now. I've realized we're in the matrix, and I will finally stop mass procrastination here on out. Maybe, I don't know. Probably not. I'm probably gonna be 800 pounds for the rest of my life. In conclusion, Twitter sucks, but follow me. Hey, don't.